Hello and welcome back. I'm sure any regular viewers of my channel can imagine that I was thrilled to hear that the Community A4 Skyhawk for DCS World had been added to Enigma's Cold War server in multiplayer. I've been waiting for this for far too long, so I jumped in the jet for a few sorties. During my time online, I saw a few folks taxiing out with weapon choices that left me a little... confused. Buongiorno. So I wanted to take some time and discuss some of the loadouts I plan on using on the server, depending on the mission and target I plan on attacking. The goal is to hopefully shift the mindset of DCS attackers from, let me try and get 69 tank kills in one sortie, but I get shot down before I drop half my ordnance, to, let's get a few meaningful kills in RTB. I tend to use three primary loadouts for the A4, with the first being a self-escort general interdiction loadout. As you can see, I have AIM-9P sidewinders on the outer stations for self-protection, two Mark 83 thousand pound general purpose bombs on stations two and four, and a pair of Mark 20 rock eye cluster bombs on the center station. Unfortunately, due to server stability issues, we aren't given the option to carry twin Mark 82s on each wing, which is my optimal loadout, so I've substituted the Mark 83s, which have more than enough boom to destroy a main battle tank. This gives you the firepower to hit just about anything on the battlefield without carrying too much weight. I prefer two bombs on the center station instead of three to help reduce the drag penalty. If you have fighter cover in the area, you can substitute the sidewinders for Zuni rocket pods, but it's important to remember that the only warhead we have for the Zuni is the Mark 63 HG fragmentation warhead, so it's better suited for softer targets. Next up is my suppression or destruction of enemy air defenses loadout. I have AGM-45 Shrike missiles on stations 2 and 4, with Mark 20 rock eyes everywhere else. Again, I use the two weapons on the belly station instead of three to reduce drag. It's well known that the accuracy of the Shrike is pretty abysmal, however, I use them to help reduce the range between myself and the launcher. Many SAM systems in DCS will attempt to engage incoming anti-radiation missiles, so you can use this as a tactic to suppress the missile system until you're close enough to release the rock eyes. And finally, I have my heavy strike loadout, which I'll use for attacking supply depots and other infrastructure. As usual, I have sidewinders on the outer stations for self-protection, and I'm also carrying five Mark 83 1,000 pound general purpose bombs. In testing, I found that it takes a direct hit from three Mark 83s to destroy the factory type workshop and a direct hit from a single Mark 83 to destroy a chemical tank. I'll finish the video with a few tips and tricks that I find give me that ever so slight edge in combat. First off, when you start up, and if you're carrying bombs on the center station, make sure you put your weapon jettison selector to number three. As soon as I'm faced with a threat, and I need that extra performance, this is the easiest way of reducing weight quickly. That being said, be mindful of what bombs you have remaining on your wings, as you can snap one off, like I did, by overstressing the airframe. Second, don't be afraid to RTB with zero kills. Remember, in Enigma's Cold War server, you lose your team tickets every time you lose an airframe so it's just as important to RTB as it is to get a kill. Further, every time you get shot down with ordnance still on your plane, you might have left extra performance on the table, only to lose the fight and end up a smoking hole in the ground. And finally, have fun. This guide is only my suggestions based on how I fly. If you want to go with the full hogget loadout and have the same drag coefficient as the Sydney Opera House, go for it! As I fly more on ECW, I'll be trying different weapon combinations and refining my tactics. If that's something you'd like to see, be sure to like this video. And if you have a different loadout that really works well for you, leave a comment down below and maybe I'll give it a try. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.